I would be in a cage. I would be observed. I would be watched. I'd be my people. I have been court ordered psychiatric evaluation. I've had three psychiatrists court ordered to evaluate me because I was in a little trouble with a Grand Prix GT and a little you know. Anyway, the first the the first doctor he got up there and he said uh, he's not. The second doctor didn't show up. I have to come back. The third doctor says, no, he's, he's, we're not going to make a decision yet. We need the third doctor's opinion. I go back. This, this court took a whole year. I went back. The, the, the other guy did never show up. The third uh, psychiatrist never showed up. The first one says, oh, he's fine. He's one. She read everything I said word for word. She had great notes. She made two mistakes. That was it. Fine. She did wonderful. Um, okay. I, then the second doctor gets up. He starts telling these stories, these fibs, these lies. I mean, I, well, the whole thing was, my lawyer told me, don't you say a freaking word because you're in here to show the court you have respect for it. I shut up. I'm sitting there. I'm fuming. This mother, he's lying. He's lying. He's lying. So I get it. The, the bottom line was the judge said, Bill, I've seen you here seven times over a year. At the time, I was homeless. Check this out. I've seen you here seven times. You're sane. Go away. No charges, no court. Go away. Have a nice day. Well, as I get in the elevator with the lawyer, he says, you don't have to worry about nothing, kid. You're free. Which, the, the reason it went a year is I did not want the charges and take my driving license away for two years. Here's the bottom line. We had a case of the good doctor and the bad doctor. The good doctor went every word, he's okay. The second doctor made up this fib to see my reaction. So I'm saying, well, good doctor, bad doctor. Life goes on. The whole thing is, if I wanted to press charges against this professional, his notes and his testimony are perjury. And the only reason I went into this detail is I am sane. I may be the most sane person in my room right now putting all of my insanity and all of my fantasy in the computer. Here's, a, here's another key I almost forgot. This is very important. Your aura, I, mean, I see aura. People, your aura is what you put on the internet. Your aura is your YouTube channel. Your aura, it's global. It's there. It's eternal. God's got all the cameras and, you know, you would talk about God. God's just a higher technology than us. I mean, he's just... I mean, everything that we record for whatever reason, all the cameras in, in, in Jan's country there, oh, my God. Well, the thing is, believe it or not, people, the CIA, the FBI, uh, the, the news media, they all know about me, and this is not paranoia. I sent packages to Tom Brokaw, Ed Bradley, Diane Sawyer, Mike Wallace, uh, Geraldo Rivera. I even told Geraldo Rivera how somebody might kill a hundred million people. Well, not that many. A million people between Chicago and Mississippi. You know what? I said, dude, here's the plan, but you can't tell anybody because they'll do it. Two years later, they did this plan. Somebody else did this. But anyway, uh, when I was in jail, I had impressions of a bombing at the Olympics. This is deep. Uh, two bombs at the Olympics. Well, there was only one at the, the Olympics that year. I was in jail when uh, the Pope and Ronald Reagan got shot. I had perfect alibi. My life is, like, so incredible.